an ancient land in the center of Europe. It has millennial history of governance which dates back to Kiev Rus. Over a hundred different ethnic groups lived here. It is the motherland to Slavic people who later on settled all around Europe. Ukraine has faced numerous victories and defeats. Ukrainians have survived through the oppression of Russian Empire famine, genocide, organized by Soviet Union, World War I and II, explosion at Chernobyl nuclear factory. In 1991, Ukraine left the Soviet Union and regained independence. In 1994, Ukraine accessed to the treaty a non-proliferation of nuclear weapons. In this regard, the Budapest Memorandum on security assurance was signed by the USA, United Kingdom, Russian Federation, and Ukraine. Ukraine's accession to the treaty demonstrated the readiness for peaceful development, trust to the neighboring states and Western partners. Imagine this movie script. A former KGB spy, angry at the collapse of his motherland, plots a course for revenge. Taking advantage of the chaos, he works his way up through the ranks of a post-Soviet Russia and becomes president. He establishes an authoritarian regime, and like the true KGB spy he is, he secretly uses cyber warfare to attack democracies around the world. Using social media to spread propaganda and false information, he convinces people in democratic societies to distrust their media, their political processes, even their neighbors. Vladimir Putin is their spy, and this is no movie script. Pro-Russian forces seized control of the international airport and military airport in Ukraine's Crimea region, a day after pro-Russian gunmen took over government buildings in the city and raised the Russian flag. Those were Russian soldiers or not? Those were local self-defense forces. Of course, Crimean self-defense was backed up with our military forces. So we're outside a Ukrainian military base here in Crimea, but the soldiers over here are Russian. They're from the base in Sevastopol. And if any military servant will ever try to shoot at their own people, our soldiers will be staying right behind. The Russian Federation Council is declaring 
First, to approve the decision of the President of Russian Federation to use military forces of Russian Federation on the territory of Ukraine until the stabilization of social and political situation in the country. Second, this declaration comes into effect upon signing. Volunteers are gathering at military recruitment office. I have a duty to defend my people. I will go there. This is my civil position. That's why I decided to come and conscribe for military service. We will defend our mother. We need to protect our territory.
Russian troops are illegally in Ukraine. Over the past two weeks, we have noticed a significant escalation in both the level and sophistication of Russia's military interference in Ukraine. The satellite images released today provide addition, additional evidence that Russian combat soldiers equipped with sophisticated 
heavy weaponry are operating inside Ukraine's sovereign territory. Dat vlucht MH17 op 17 juli 2014 is neergeschoten door een raket uit de 9M3838 uh, serie. Afgevuurd door een Buck Taylor. En dat deze Buck Taylor afkomstig is van het grondgebied van de Russische federatie. En na lancering weer terug is gebracht naar het grondgebied van de Russische federatie. Bullying and aggression are being used by Russia in Ukraine and along, along NATO's eastern border. The Kremlin is rehearsing aggressive scenarios against its neighbors, despite Russia's special responsibility to protect international peace as permanent member of the Security Council. It violated the UN Charter by attacking Georgia, illegally annexing Crimea, and directly participating in the war in East Ukraine. The Kremlin's arsenal does not stop at conventional weapons. Russia continues to meddle in elections, conduct cyber attacks, and uses its Sputniks to spread fake news and destabilizing propaganda. Time and time again, we have no courage to enforce the rules that we ourselves create. We draw red lines in the sand and then pretend they don't exist. This has to change. Bullies are aggressive precisely because they are weak and insecure. That is why we must stop being passive observers and start calling things by their own names. Не Луганск и Донецк будут нами, а вся Украина. А вся это больше, чем Луганск и Донецк. Uh, Russia has invaded sovereign and independent Ukraine in, in clear of, of and unabashed of contravention Russian of international law. This comes law. as 20,000 Russian troops now stretched along the nearly the entire range of war performance. No separatists, no... Today's sun is a day. It's expected a city. It's only two. Two Polish cities are working at the airport of Lugansk. The last minutes of life of Ukropov.
Главное. Напевно, якби не, не знав, що в мене вдома є маленький синочок, і що в мене чекає жінка і баба, я, напевно, без того плану живе і біля повернувся, без собою би щось зробив. resembles somewhere in Syria, but this is a village in Europe that's been devastated by a conflict that's dangerous and spiraling out of control. Our nation is really strong. We have a lot of opportunities. Ukraine is strong, granting to its nation. The current situation is dangerous. It is dangerous because Russia continues to train and equip separatists with heavy weapons and fight by, by their side in flagrant violation of the September Minsk agreement, Ukrainian sovereignty, and international law. Ukrainian soldier, Ukrainian young man should know that he is standing for his children, his mother, his wife. And he is fighting not for something abstract, but first of all for himself and for his family, for the right to live here, for the right to be Ukrainian. All of needs to be protected. The freedom is worth fighting for, and it shall never be taken for granted. I wonder how many countries in this room present here would be happy to capitulate their own city, surrounded by illegal militants, by bandits, by insurgents, wherever they are, away from whatever ceasefire zones, just give up part of your territory and leave nobody. They are defending their territory. That territory is away from any ceasefire agreement, from Minsk 1, from Minsk 2. It's their own territory, and I think any country sitting here would defend our own territory to the last. I'm sure that everyone goes through the war firmly believing that he will be coming back soon. There is no other way. Fellow soldier Alexander Chernikov was born on the 1st of November 1984. Давайте разом помолимося. Помолимося за тих, кого вже поруч з нами нема, хто пішов у вічність. Щоб Господь упокоїв їх в місті світлім, в місті квітучі, в місті спокою. Давайте разом помолимося за живих, щоб Господь дав сили нести хрест по життю і жити гідно. Помолимось молитвою Господньою. Отче наш, що є Сина на небесах, нехай святиться ім'я Твоє. Нехай прийде царство Твоє, нехай буде воля Твоя, як на небі, так і на землі.
хліб наш насущний дай нам сьогодні. І прости нам провини наші, які ми прощаємо винуватцям нашим. І не веди нас у спокусу, але визволи нас від лукавого. Country leaders referred to Dnipro as the eastern outpost of Ukrainian independence. In 2014, while pro-Russian forces were trying to destabilize situation in Donetsk, Luhansk and Kharkiv, Dnipro managed to resist. Regular Dnipro citizens started forming volunteer battalions, building still functional logistical system for frontline support. Hospitals delivered medical service to the injured, and volunteers collected goods, food and fuel for civic and military needs at the front line. A center for liberation of war prisoners was created and operated in Dnipro at the expense of local business community. We have been living peacefully in the city for this year and we hope it goes on the same way. In 2014, Dnipro became the hotspot for innovations in terms of national defense. Being fully equipped at the cost of local businessmen and highly motivated, they were already stamped against the enemy. Efficient logistics and organization are among major merits of Dnipro. And let me reiterate here that Canada stands firmly beside Ukraine in response to Russia's illegal annexation of Crimea, as well as its support to insurgents in eastern Ukraine. Canada will always stand by Ukraine. And to Vladimir Putin, you will never defeat the Ukrainian people and deprive them of their independence and freedom. Thank all of you for your service. I send the message from the American people. We are with you. Your fight is our fight, and we will win together. European choice, heaven's hundred, revolution of dignity, all of these are memes of Ukrainian fascism. 